back to some Metal Gear salad. What? Yeah, Metal Gear salad. Like a cob salad? Alright, so this is where we're gonna learn the Nikita. The Nikita? Nikita. What the hell's that mean? It's probably a name. Uh, Danger! 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 <clears throat> High voltage shit. That sucks. That looks dangerous. What alarm did you set? You did something. You're very suspicious. I mean, if you guys can hear this. Snake, watch out. Yeah. That place is filled with gas. We have it. It's filled with gas. First, Floor is electrified. High voltage switch. High voltage switch. I hear it. I see it, you dick. I can't reach it. I played the game, you dick. Hey, this is from the first game. The remote controlled missile. Um, first game? The NES game. No, no. You gotta do the same thing. I watched that playthrough of it. They actually borrowed this from that game. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of cool, though. Well, you know about that first game. Not quite as... I don't even own it, apparently. <laughs> Neither do I. So how do I know anything about it? This one's a little more involved. <laughs> oh, Char yeah. Boom. The blue you should see the Twin Snakes version of this. You actually see, like, the point of view of a rocket. It's kind of cool, though. And now you can proceed. Was there a game in between this one and the NES version? Or did it go straight from that to this? It went from... It goes Metal Gear on the MSX, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake on the MSX, to Metal Gear Solid, and then the Metal Gear Solid 2 on fourth. Okay, alright. Didn't know you were going to shoot me. <laughs> That's the order of release. <clears throat> That sounds like some wicked shit going on. Well, you're about to see it. Oh my. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look like a room that you want to walk into. They were cut by some type of blade. Very observant. He's a smart man. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. The stupid question, can you use the remote control missiles for things other than blowing up the switchboard? You can use them against sniper. That person is hovering in midair. No. <clears throat> Uh oh. Don't look like somebody I want to screw with. If you saw this in Twin Snakes, they have like the whole scene where they get cut up in it. It's fucking wild, dude. Sounds like it. Just mind your own goddamn business. I feel like I'm on sugar rush. I'm not saying Stop. Uh oh. Who's that? So they are, they're having a sugar rush too. Oh no. Pissed himself. Oh, they're jerking it. Oh no. Camouflage. It's what? Deadpool. Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? What's next? Snake. Snake. You're that ninja. Chill out there, Steve. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Got this badass outfit and then we got that red, red nose on. What's with these guys? Yeah. It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come Ooh. from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you. It's 
Rudolph. Or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Keep your hands off him. Keep him off. Keep him off. Now, make me feel it. Make oh, me God. feel alive make again. My day. Looks like this could be an asshole. Ah. He'd probably be better off trusting his life as a weapon. Why is this life bar so much more than yours? Why is his depleting so much faster? That's really just his name, Ninja. We He's got know. a name. He's just... You don't know who he is yet. It's a mystery. I see. No. That's exciting. Do you need a handicap tonight? No! Are you even gonna play tonight? I don't know yet. Hurry up and catch me. <laughs> you're gonna miss your cake bar where you're gonna get lucky. Oh, we're playing birthday cake tonight. That's... I'm not planning to go out really. I'm not really feeling that great. I have to see. I have to have be visited. Well, I don't think you need to be probably very involved with that. Not your stuff. You need to go Some kick ass music. This, game. this is true. There he is. Is he hiding? Uh, he is, yeah. A little, little, nice little douche. Nice. He looks like an idiot with a little red nose on it. Waiting for this pain. Waiting for this pain? I am machine. That rations in the corner there. Should I think it's so calm. I hope it's. That's it. I remember that punch. I remember that punch. That guy's really slow for a ninja, though. Do you remember? Well, once you find out, you see some of the shit he does later on in the game. The clashing. He, uh. He's definitely holding back. Oh, he's going real slow. Oh. Lose his mind. Yeah, that's right. You don't, you don't get close to it. He freaks the fuck out. What if you shoot him? He's like stuck on that thing? I think he's uh, glitching or something. He's got glitches and he's glitches. I can help him out a little bit. Now what? I still hear him. Oh, he is. He still got killed? I thought he was dead. What is happening? I, think I don't remember that being in the original, but I felt this. that snake. I'm more familiar with twin snakes. Do you me. remember me? Now? He felt that snake. Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Probably not good for your. This is some weird shit going on. You 
is it over? <laughs> what a brave soul that is. I mean, he's just one of those geeky scientist types. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he is. He does a lot of cooler shit than Twin Snakes. He like jumps around, and fucking destroys like the whole all the fucking computers and shit. Gray Fox, Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox, no doubt about it. Ridiculous. Gray Fox. You know he died in Zanzibar. No, he should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes, but they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they huh. experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used to thing. test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. You need you know, Why didn't you tell no. us this sooner? I just have it stolen from me. Information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I guess next time we will pick up from here. Oh, we're gonna get the guy out of there. We're gonna go a little bit longer at these parts. Are you one of them? Cutscenes are still going. No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Hello. Taku too? Come on, get out. Get out here, you brave son of a bitch. Forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Look at these Paul's 3D oh. graphics. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. Oh, <laughs> it's such a bad time. Anger. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun? Interesting. <clears throat> a railgun, you said? Yeah. 
It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Well, yeah. Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. It's crazy to think this kind of shit's kind of a threat again. Computers. If you link so, these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. <clears throat> so this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. 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 I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Such a fool. You're a fool. Such a goddamn fool. My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our <clears throat> DNA. His dad did way more than just be born on that day. He's a real piece of shit. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? So I can fight it. Rex is in the underground uh, maintenance uh, base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Merrill's got the detonation code override key. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Oh my. I'll show you the way. God, they got long cutscenes in these games. You'll just slow me down. Yep, that's You'll what I've been me. telling you guys for a Rex. while. I don't need you. I just like watching me. You want to play a game? I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. It's his duty. It gets worse with the later games. Mm -hmm. Chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Well. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use the oh, snake cave. With like this, that. I'll be fine. Bad luck. You're going to lock it in this game. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. <gasps> oh, no. Damn, they spotted me. Oh, no. Meryl, what happened? Oh, no. Meryl, something's wrong. Come back. Did you hear something? 
Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Buzz. Buzz, buzz. Guys. Guys. She had such oh, a yeah. cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Wiggles her behind. She's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, <laughs> huh? Her ass was wiggling too. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? This has been like so a 10 minute cutscene. Sounds about right. Here, use this security card. It's security level security 4. Security card. Well, security clearance. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, no. Yeah, drop dead too. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Let me get some background. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. Sure. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. Either. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Me. Jesus Christ. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Hmm. My light bar gets bigger. Oh yeah. Well, how about that? All, All right. right. It was a 12, what did you guys think of that? 12 minute cutscene. It was very informative. Learn anything new that Otacon is actually pretty pretty much a chill guy? Might as well be just like us. Something like that. Well, I think we need to break yeah, it off we there. Break it off here. Break it. We're 23 minutes right, in now. We'll go, 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 go. Bye. Go. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs>